friends welcome back to my channel it's francesca thank you so much for tuning in to conscious voltero if you're new to the channel i'm francesca i'm a clear sentient tarot reader and reiki healer if you want any of my services you can click on the link in the description below today is going to be a celebrity reading of part three of Haley bieber and justin bieber so i was looking up at the last time i did one and it's about that time for an update so I really wanted to do a Jelena, but I still got to wait. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and start off with how Justin Bieber's thinking and feeling. If you haven't watched the part one of Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber, go ahead and go to my previous video and you can see their purpose of their connection because typically in the celebrity uh, love readings, I start off with the celebrity's purpose and their soul contract. But if it's a part two or part three or moving forward, I just go with how they think and feel and, and etc. So currently, the way that Justin um, is thinking and feeling about Haley is that um, he's very focused on um, wanting to value his self-worth right now. He's at a space where he's really wanting to put his feelings first. He's really wanting to put his money first. He's wanting to take care of his ability to earn money and um, his, his possessions. He's very possessive over his possessions at this moment. Um, Justin Bieber's at a space where he doesn't want to make much lifestyle changes. All he wants is for himself to get back into taking courageous action towards what he loves. And he's wanting to go in a space where he grows where he enters a space of freedom and enters a space of strength at this moment the way that he feels about Haley is that he's really focused on helping her improve her health as he helps improve his health but he's at a space where he's he's honestly a little bit disinterested he's at a space where he does feel kind of stuck because she can be trying to control um his movement in life so this isn't revolving around his choices or anything, but I am seeing that Haley may be wanting to move and this move may be like very soon. And he's not wanting to move at all. <laughs> so he's actually taking this opportunity to actually reflect on where he wants to improve his life. And one of the aspects or one of the ways that he wishes to improve his life is to actually um, create some sort of negligence or abandonment between him and Haley. He does feel like his money is tied with her and he does feel as though he also has a pattern of pleasing her, of people pleasing her, of giving her affection whenever she wants, especially because she has always quenched um his sex drive. Okay? But now that he's actually realizing that like okay, she may want to go on a different path. I'm improving my health in this way. She wants to improve her health this way. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of clashing when it comes to making improvements in their life. So they could have tried to make improvements in many different ways. And it's just like the way that he's finding himself actually attaining solution is by actually daydreaming of getting away from her. So he's at a space where he's now being more honest with himself about the disharmony and the disconnection of this connection with her and he's actually at a space where he's willing to open his mind to actually expand towards what it would be like to not have her around like what it would be like if she were to move and he were to stay where he's at because he's at a space where he's actually telling her like hey if you want to go you want to move somewhere else you want to change locations you want to change states you go ahead for it i'm good like he's at a space where he's actually standing up for himself. He's utilizing his voice to uh, fulfill his needs. He's no longer people pleasing her. So he's at a space where he's actually trying to build his own independence. He's not trying to be codependent on anything or anyone. So that's why he's at a space where he's actually contemplating what it would be like to be out of her control. What it would be like to not be codependent. Or have someone codependent on you. So he's at a space where he's actually taking some time, some time for himself. He's in solitude. He's going through introspection. And th 
this contemplation of actually making this life-changing decision of ending the future with her, ending any sort of plans and ending the the partnership is sounding much more beneficial to him than it than it is to stick around. Right? So he's releasing the control that this connection has over him and he's freeing himself from the mental blockage of of him unable to see beyond this connection or or feeling stuck because when it comes to him contemplating leaving it it's like he gets a lot of adrenaline but then he's also um like devoted with a lot of like dedication towards himself and then in fact he actually like desires to leave this and it's like he feels a little bit entrapped but he's also taking a lot of um realistic approach towards this situation looking at the legalities and the legal disputes he would have to go through and i'm seeing that he's actually willing to do it so he's at a space where he's beginning to let go of the control issues let go of the codependent dynamic and actually be honest with himself about the the disconnection right and and he's taking accountability of being honest with himself about no longer wanting to invest in this and him being fair with himself and her that hey this is not gonna this is not gonna go far so that's why he's really focused on his possessions and his ability to earn money and he's focusing on valuing valuing his self-worth and his feelings because that's literally everything he's processing at this moment so there's a lot of non-action being taken between them because Justin is going through this um, through this process of analyzing and valuing his feelings. So there can be like crickets or silence between them. Um, but rest assured, it's like he's on he's on airplane mode. So the way that you see Haley and Justin right now, he's just like operating out of routine. But in the process, he's actually listening to his intuition. He's he's a li he's a little bit like disassociating, <laughs> um, and daydreaming what it would be like to actually take that initiative. And because he's already told her like, hey, if you want to move, you can move. Like I'm good. So there is already this um, this apathy going on between them. So let's go ahead and see how Haley's thinking and feeling about Justin. Yes, and I'm transitioning to how. Haley is thinking and feeling about Justin very quickly. Then I'm going to go towards what's going to transpire in their near future. Okay. So Haley is actually going through a lot of paranoia at the moment because she feels as though um, Justin is actually wanting to potentially divorce her, break up with her. So she feels as though very lost right now. She does feel very uncertain about what's going to happen. Right now, they're like they're actually like not dealing with each other. Like they may be like physically in the same space, but they're like not. Like there's a lot of apathy right now. There's a lot of disinterest. There's a lot of emotional repression. So Haley is feeling as though there's a lot of secrets that um, Justin is hiding from her, and Justin is doing something with his finances, and she has noticed it. He may be either like already like getting an attorney to potentially, you know, separate his finances from her. Like he's doing something in a legal way when it comes to his finances. Haley can be potentially becoming aware of this. And this is making her feel um, excessive worry, excessive negativity. It's making her also feel very alienated, confused, and just overall unhappy. And she's at a space where she's pretending right now to everyone around her especially on the internet that she's working on her relationship with justin and they're living for the future yeah she's actually at a space where she's uncertain of the future and she's at a space where she's cut off basically emotionally so she's actually contemplating to do an unexpected pregnancy she does feel as though this will make him surrender to what she feels is meant to be between them. So she is in a way doing spell work. Haley is actually at a space where she's been waiting for 
Justin to be resistant to her so she could actually um so she could either actually pretend she's pregnant or she could actually like legit get pregnant but I am seeing her utilizing a love potion so this is manipulation with sex this is captivating him with sex and I feel like the last time if they do have sex in the near future, this this is going to be the time where she's actually going to go for it. Like she's been waiting for this, um, for for her to feel that he's detaching, that he's letting go, that he's abandoning ship, right? Abandoning her in order for her her to actually, you know, make him hooked, you know? And she's doing this very spontaneously and she wants it to be that way, but Right now, she's still at a space where she's writing to him, expressing to him, trying to rekindle the connection with attraction and love and, and hooking up, but it's not working. And there's, she's very persistent and very resilient, but there's this major wall that has been placed between Haley and Justin, and she's very confused, and uh, she feels very reckless at this moment. So she's at a space where she kind of knows what's happening but at the same time she's under this space of um of denial and i am seeing her using rituals okay she's using rituals so this ritual can just be sex but this ritual could also be mind control um or the pregnancy scare to actually keep him around to keep them towards this victory that she sees them being or going towards so she's at a space where she's really you know trying to get flirty trying to you know manipulate him with sex but he's at a space where he's not wanting to deal he's angry so she's like basing her worth off him not taking no for an answer and it's just like ex excessive clashing and there's just a lot of paranoia happening at this moment, a lot of fear, a lot of feelings of unworthiness, and a lot of um, anxiety. So right now she's at a space where she's literally working her magic, if it's an actual ritual or literally just mind control, um, sex, ma sex magic, or this pregnancy scare. She thinks that this is going to assist them in basically um, fertilizing something new and this is what she thinks will help her and and justin triumph towards um a successful outcome but it is manipulated and it is uh, tainted and is definitely something that uh she's indecisive about still but she's still very indecisive if she's gonna do this but she's also at a space where she's very paranoid of losing justin and she's like online as well, like very plugged into what he's doing. And um, she's trying to potentially expose something of him and she can't find answers. So she's just going to um, try to do what she's really good at doing, which is, you know, creating scandal in, in their love life. So... That's what I kind of see her doing, how she's thinking and feeling as well. But um, I do feel as though very soon we may be hearing that she is pregnant. Um, if she does follow through with wanting to do this, because it is very clear that this is the next thing that she is going to pull in order to maintain Justin under her control. Um, but if not, um, let's see what else she does. So let's go ahead and see what's going to transpire between them moving okay, forward. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and transition to what's going to transpire between Haley and Justin Bieber in the near future. Okay, so this is pretty rough. Uh, so just to go straight to it, they are going to be working on their divorce. I am I am seeing that this may be public um, by fall or winter time, but I am seeing that by Sagittarius slash uh, Capricorn season, kind of like an eclipse season by the end of the year, my friends, us hearing about Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber getting divorced or Justin already trying to move forward with that. Haley is going to basically be the one begging, um, but there's already going to be a decision that will be made. I am seeing that there will be an irreconcilable 
um, difference and there will be a divorce that will be made in the beginning um, of this decision, which has already begun. Um, Justin is going to try to compromise with her when it comes to distributing finances. She's going to be very stingy and is going to basically cause for Justin Bieber to, to begin a war with her. <laughs> Uh, and um, it's going to get very um, it's going to get very ruthless in the sense where they're both going to feel very frustrated she's going to try to connect love into the situation where he's already emotionally out of the connection he's already emotionally gone from the connection and they're both going to feel very crushed by leaving this behind, mainly her, but he's going to feel relieved. There's going to be a lot of struggle over burdens of responsibilities and just a lot of obligations that he needs to attend to when it comes to actually moving forward with this divorce. He's also going to feel very um, weighed down by her pleading or begging because she's going to come from a space of like needing him, like she's going to enter a space of desperation and this is going to trigger Justin Bieber's people-pleasing wound because Justin Bieber may have like people-pleasing tendencies and this may make him stall because of everything that they have, their financial security, their permanence, their, their assets. So this will keep him holding on probably until the end of the year, a little bit indecisive. He's going to be flexible. She's going to try to connect their connection with God and it's going to make him kind of like reason with her. But then he's going to realize that he's in over his head about making this work out and she's, you know, just trying to manipulate him. So they're going to, again, fall back into, you know, not compromising and not considering to stay together. And he's going to really follow through with disconnecting from her and making this decision instead of like you know, burying his head in the sand or being unsure of his decision, he's actually going to go for it. So I'm seeing Libra season, um, October, um, being a significant month where he's going to finalize his decision. I don't know if you guys watched my recent Jolina video, but if you haven't, go ahead and watch it. I did it like two to three weeks ago. And I basically elaborated on how I predicted and saw that Justin Bieber was actually going to tell Selena Gomez about him wanting to divorce Haley. And this was going to be like around September slash October. So this is basically around the same timeline that I see um, Justin Bieber making his decision in wanting to divorce um, Haley and then him potentially already telling Selena this. So this is actually going to be in the perfect time. For him to, to declare this divorce around Libra season. Um, and we may not hear it until Sagittarius slash eclipse season, which is November, December. And it's going to be divinely orchestrated. The way Haley's going to think and feel about this is that she's going to feel um, like she's unable to cope with the situation. She's going to go through a mental breakdown. We may also physically see her go through a mental breakdown. Okay. She's going to use, um, in the beginning, she's just going to use like herself to try to repair the connection. But because there's going to be um, financial distributions, like sharing financial wills and things like that, she's going to get her lawyer involved. And, you know, she's going to involve some sort of authority in this situation. And it's just, it's going to get messy. Like I'm seeing them at the end of the day not divorcing on good standing like i'm seeing her protesting a lot and him just finalizing his decision and then them kind of being like not enemies but you know foes and yeah this is definitely going to be a life-changing decision that's going to alter the course of their life but it's for the best because there are um trust issues between them there's a strong disconnection and it's just not it's not true love so they will be entering a state of growth and liberation. Ultimately, they will both uh, surrender to this decision at the end of the day. And I do see them both taking a leap to kind of just um, 
to just go for accepting this and even though it's going to leave Haley crushed and broken and alone she's actually going to feel uh, re rejuvenated she's actually going to also potentially um be like filled with a lot of like you know creative spark she may have like suddenly like a new beginning in her life she may go through like a physical change she may want to change her phys physical appearance or she may also just tap into her talent into maybe a hidden talent that she has due to the challenges that she's going to be going through in the in the divorce so there will be a lot of growth uh despite them going through um hardships and an actual divorce so the end of a tough cycle will will end and they will both enter a new beginning in their lives so obviously justin bieber headed towards his destiny with selena and with Haley. um we're we're not quite sure so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with Haley moving forward in the future obviously we want to see what's going to transpire moving forward when the divorce actually finalizes and yeah what happens next so if you enjoy the reading and you want a personal reading on you and your partner or just you have any question go ahead and click on the link in the description below or you can go to my website consciousfiltero.com i have live phone call readings or i have email audio recorded readings where i send the reading to your email if it's inconvenient for you to do it live i also have other services such as uh, sound healing to manifest love and money or guided meditations to manifest uh, love or money and i also have reiki healings and guided breath work you can also catch me on instagram and tiktok bye star friends